Growing onions in containers can be a rewarding and easy growing experience. In this video, we will cover all the ins and outs of growing onions in containers. Onions are one of the most versatile vegetables to grow in containers. They require little growing space and they produce well with less attention than other plants. If you are growing onions in a container for the first time, I have rounded up everything you need to know for a successful harvest. Subscribe and press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Urban Gardening. Take a small container. The container should be 6 to 8 inches wide and deep and have some drainage holes at the bottom. You can make seed starting mix at your home by mixing 50% garden soil, 30% compost and 20% cocoa peat. Fill the container with the seed starting mix, compress it so it's firmly packed and flat on top. You must first moisten your starting mix with water. Onions come in a wide variety of shapes, sizes and colors. The white, yellow or red bulbs range in size from small pickling onions to large Spanish cultivars. Once your starting mix is properly moistened, sprinkle the seeds over it. Growing onions from seed is easy and allows you to choose the exact varieties you want to grow. Cover them lightly with a quarter inch thick layer of the seed starting mix. Gently pat the soil mix with your hand when you are done. Water lightly with a spray bottle. Do not use a watering can as it might wash away the seeds. Now for next 10 to 15 days, keep the soil damp but not soggy and provide at least 5 to 7 hours of direct sunlight for good germination. Expect to see the seedlings emerge after 6 to 8 days. During growth, do not use fertilizers if your seed starting mix contains compost as compost will provide the necessary amounts of nutrients. Wait until the seedlings are at least 4 to 6 inches tall. This will ensure that the young plants are strong enough to thrive. Gently pull apart or separate any clusters of seedlings taking care to break as few roots as possible. For planting, use 18 to 20 inch diameter container with at least 12 to 15 inches of depth for proper bulb formation. And your container should have a minimum of 4 to 6 drain holes. Onions grow most happily in moderately rich well draining soil. For that we will use a mix of 50% garden soil, 30% compost and 20% river sand. Sand will make the soil mix soft which will result in bigger onion bulbs. Soil needs to be well draining and loose. Compacted soil affects bulb development. Bury them deep enough that the bottom 2 inch part of the seedling is mostly under the soil. Create a hole that is deep enough to accommodate the seedling's roots and bury the seedling so the base is about an inch or 2 inch deep. Space seedlings about 5 to 6 inches apart depending on the expected mature size of the variety you are planting as a small spacing can significantly reduce bulb size. Plant all seedlings in the same manner, poke their roots down into a hole and gently pack soil around their base. Proper spacing is required so the bulbs have enough space to grow and not hinder each other's growth. 
In a 18 inch diameter grow bag, you can easily plant 10 to 12 plants with ease. Once seedlings are transplanted, water them gently. Onions have a shallow root system and need to be watered frequently to keep the soil evenly moist. Select a location with full sun where your onions won't be shaded by other plants. The more energy they can get from the sunlight, the larger their bulbs can grow. Onion grows under the soil, so for growing onion in the container, the depth of the container plays a major role. Onions are heavy feeders. Soil should be enriched with nutrients throughout the growing season for that mix 4 to 5 handfuls of cattle manure or vermicompost after every 18 to 20 days. Mix well in the soil and water immediately after adding fertilizer in the soil mix. You can also use fish emulsion or compost tea occasionally for healthy growth of leaves. The size of the mature onion bulb depends upon the healthy greens. The more the healthy leaves, more the quality of the onions. Onions require a lot of water, but too much water can also harm them. Make sure that the soil drains well and that the water does not stand or sit. Once they reach the size of a pencil or begin to form bulbs, you can harvest them to use as green onions or young spring onions. You can also occasionally cut the tops only to enjoy as green onions leaving the bulbs to continue to grow. Feed the plants constantly with compost throughout the growing season for the best results. Water regularly to ensure the soil is moist to facilitate growth. Keep the container weeded so the onions don't have to compete for nutrients or resources. As soon as you see an onion has flower bud, snip the bud to prevent the bulb from splitting. When onions start to mature, at that point bend the tops down or even stop on the foliage to speed up the bulb formation and ripening process. Make sure to do it gently and bend the heads in different directions to get as much sunlight as possible. Onions are generally considered a cool season crop because onion seedlings like to start their life when conditions are still cool, then as the weather warms up, they switch to focus their energy on bulb formation. Therefore, monsoon season and early winter days are the best time to plant onions in most places. New growth from the center will stop when the bulbs start forming. Stop fertilizing when the onions push the soil away and the bulbing process has started. Do not put the soil back around the onions. The bulb needs to emerge above the soil. Onions are mature and ready to harvest. Once the main stalk gets weak, thin and start to flop over, the greens will also start to turn dry and brown, especially at the tips. You must allow them to grow until they reach full maturity. Onions are ready to harvest approximately 100 to 150 days after planting seeds. Once the leaves begin to shrivel, you can pull out the bulbs from the soil. Lift all of the bulbs to harvest them. Common pests that attack onion plants are thrips and onion maggots. Thrips mainly attacks during hot and dry weather. These common pests can be treated with mild insecticide soap spray or neem oil spray. Once harvested, you can use onions in your kitchen right away. Just cut the top part half inch above the bulb. And if you want to store them, then leave the tops as it is and keep them in a dry and shaded region for 3 to 4 days to cure.
store them in a cool and dry place. Fresh onion has good taste and onion can store more than a year in room temperature.